Let's talk about video game addiction. It's a kind of invisible problem in which the child, the adult, the parent, they don't even realize that they have this problem or how it, video games are beginning to affect them. Now, to start out, we need to know what type of person can become addicted to video games and what situation leads to this. Now, I have found that it tends to affect isolated children. So we start out with an isolated child. They are often kept away from social situations by a parent, usually a very overprotective parent or super parent who is very involved in their child's life, but to a, a severe fault in which the child is prevented from becoming a person. They're not able to have their own friends, they're not able to go out, and so they retreat into fantasy and into video games. And so we have this fundamental childhood-based split from reality where the child realized that it was easier to play video games than it was to go outside and to be with friends. Perhaps they were already a bit strange. Perhaps they were bullied at school for being different. And so again, they learned not to go out into reality, but to retreat back into fantasy. And this is often described as a positive thing, as games and shows and all kinds of media being a good escape for children and for people in general. But I'm going to explain why that really isn't a viable option. You see, when a child begins to focus more on fantasy than reality, they are losing extremely important ideas, rules, and laws of being social. They lose the ability to have tact in social situations because when they go outside after a long period of isolation within video games or within the internet, they are not interacting with reality. Their reality has become altered by video games. When we play games, our perception is directed towards an illusion. And this illusion has its own set of laws, which tend to be very simplistic, or at least they can be understood by any player. And as the person becomes more and more wrapped up in these sets of rules and laws, they become unconscious, they become subconscious, and they simply come out of the person regularly. They begin to act according to the game rather than according to their own nature. Their nature is being altered. Their instincts are becoming digitized. And so that's extremely important. They might go into a social situation, which in a video game they would have handled easily with preset answers and the ability to make friends easily and to keep them. Uh, when they're in real life, they find it extremely difficult. They wonder why they are inefficient, and ultimately they become disappointed again due to social failures and retreat back in. And this makes a vicious cycle in which the person loses more and more of the ability to reach out into the world and becomes more and more sucked into this kind of matrix. I find that that is kind of a... A sick joke, the Matrix, or Plato's cave allegory. Even if we don't believe that it's true metaphysically, that we are not in contact with reality, uh, and a lot of people don't like that idea, they want to believe that we are in the material world and that this is the real world. We have manufactured a Matrix, we have manufactured a cave, so that we can live within a fantasy. We chose illusion. We made our own cave. And I think that is profound as to the escapist nature of man. And so it comes to another question, I think, which is the idea of autism. And now a lot of people, I think, misplace cause and effect in this situation. I think 
it's often thought that um, autistic people who are lacking in social ability uh, choose to play video games because it's easier. Uh, I think it's the other way around. I think that through being sheltered, through being isolated, and retreating into video games and into the media, a child develops a type of autistic nature. I see this as a media-induced autism, or maya, like the Buddhist maya illusion, a web that is spun around somebody by a dancing woman. It's fantasy and illusions. All of the games, all of the television, all of the movies, all of the forums, all of the internet friends, they all form this web, this cocoon around the individual with a media-induced autism. And it effectively prevents them from ever breaking out of the cocoon into the real world. Now, I wonder if you who chose to watch this recognizes a bit of the character that I've described in yourself or in your situation. And I'm very curious, how do you find that video games have affected you personally? Uh, are there any games that you think might affect people in a, in a much worse way? Or games that might even have a positive effect? Like a lot of people talked about My Little Pony having a very positive social effect on people who were otherwise very socially inept. And I don't, so I'm not saying that video games are necessarily bad, merely that they alter the perception of reality and that it is often used as a crutch against reality. But essentially all education follows that path. It wants to give you a lens with which to view reality, not necessarily a net or a trap, which those escapisms can. So, let me know in the comments, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.